Hi guys, this is Line6David, and today we're going to go over the Spider Jam amplifier. So the first thing, just so you can start from scratch, uh, we're going to go over how to do a factory reset on the amp. So hold the settings and tone knob while you power the amp on. And it's going to say Spider Jam, Master Off, Reset Factory Defaults. It's going to reset all of your patches. Let's go ahead and plug in our guitar. Okay, so we're plugging our guitar into the amplifier. And now the first thing I want to show you is tones. So there's several different banks in the amp. There's artist, style, user, and now the user bank is where you're actually going to save back to. All of these artist and style banks, all of these are just to really get you started uh, using the amplifier. They're what we call our rock star presets. And so I'm just going to scroll through here with the jog wheel and the directional pad until I pick one that I like. And let's do razor light. Alright, so now if we look on the front panel of the amplifier, I'm just going to tweak this while I play my guitar, tweak it the way I like it. And you'll see, you see all of your feedback and everything on the top of the amp. And you'll notice that beside our preset, we have an asterisk. Now, that denotes something's changed. So now we need to save our preset. Let's press the save button. And we're going to press to the right. And we're going to pick a spot in our user bank that we want to save it. So I'll save over razor light again. Press right. And now if we turn the jog wheel, could change the letters. Let's change it to taser light. Press down. Now it's saved. All right. And now it's going to be stored in our user bank. And like I said, anything that you save on the amplifier, it's going to end up in your user bank. So that's how you order all of your presets on the amplifier. So next we're going to press our drum song button. And that's going to take us to our recording screen. There's songs, drums, recordings. Let's go back and let's see what mid-tempo metal sounds like. So I'm just going to press play. Alright, so let's say this isn't quite your bag of chips. You want to pick another song. No problem. Just turn the jog wheel beside the LCD screen. And as you can see, we can scroll through all of our songs while the other song's playing. Let's pick one, might be a little bit different. What about Trapped? Okay, so right arrow. And now we've loaded Trapped and we can play that back. Okay, still not quite what I'm looking for. All right, I'm thinking maybe something with only drums. All right, so let's do that. Let's hit Stop. And now I'm gonna arrow over to Drums and scroll down to something else. Those numbers beside of the uh, drum presets are the tempo, right arrow, and let's try Cajun Blues. All right, so that's more the style that I'm going for. And now, while I've got my drum beat that I like, I think I'll record a loop. So let's hit the record button. It's gonna count us in. And we're rolling. So right here we can record our riff. And then when we're done, we're just going to press stop. And that's going to take us to the recording screen. And if I use the jog wheel, I can see all of my recordings and loops, all my ideas. Press right, and here we are at another recording. And you can play them back, you can hit record and overdub anytime you want. So you can literally move from song to song. Uh, if one thing inspires you and you want to go to the, another song, you come up with a cool riff. Just play back, hit record, and you'll dub right in. All right, so now that we've recorded guitar, let's record a microphone. I'm going to plug my mic in the front. 
and make sure that the trim dial is up so we can hear it. And just in case I need a little extra gain, press the inputs level button and just turn the gain right up. We got 12 dB of extra gain, so plenty for any dynamic microphone. But I'm not fond of my vocal effect. So I tell you what, let's press the settings tone button a couple of times. And now you see mic aux presets. Now these are going to apply to a bass, um, an acoustic guitar, to a microphone, whatever you plug into the mic or the aux input. And here's our bass. So we're going to connect the bass to the auxiliary input. And now I can select a bass preset. But I bet you're asking yourself, how can I control all this with a pedal? So now we're going to go over the FBV Shortboard Mark II. So let's connect it up. Front of the amp, back of the pedal, and we're going to hold the settings tone knob and scroll all the way down to FBV modes. And this is normal mode. It's going to function like any other Line 6 amp with the pedal. So A, B, C, and D, they're all going to be your presets within your bank. Um, the stomp, modulation, delay, and reverb uh, foot switches are all going to control your effects, and then you can bank up and down. Press to the right, jam control mode, and now we can control our recording functions. So let's press settings and tone, and press the A foot switch. It's going to count us in, and now I'm recording. Now, if I want to stop recording, I just press A again. If I want to dub back in, I'm going to press A again. Okay, I didn't really like the part I just recorded. So, I'm going to press off and press C, undo, and that will get rid of the last part, and then B is going to stop it. And now we have a new recording. You can hold C and go to the clear menu, clear out individual parts, or you can bank up and down to scroll through your recordings. All right, and that's pretty much it for the basic functionality of the Spider Jam Amplifier. I'm Line 6 David. I'm going to let you guys go so you can start jamming out. I uh, hope you have a great day and keep on rocking.